Hey, that's amazing. And you dug this out of the mega museum. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those as well as when I was younger. So it's, it's a great machine. Yeah, this is uh, actually new. Mm -hmm. It's uh, new in the box, the one you're holding. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, community. Hello, Mega 65 fans. Hi, Deft. Hi, <laughs> <I'm told. laughs> Um Yeah, uh, welcome to our uh, March 21 Mega 65 update. And we have several um, top uh, topics we have to tackle today. Yes, uh, as always, there are some news. Um, let's maybe start with the file host. Um, you find the address uh, link from mega65.org and uh, it, exactly it will be shown. And there are more and more files appearing there and there are nice demos, uh, little games, uh, tools. And uh, if you are a DevKit owner and you have registered with your DevKit code, you are allowed to access all the ROMs, the uh, C former 60, C65 ROMs which you have a license for, but also our new versions, um, the ones bit shifter from our team cooks and enhances and codes on them and they are very much enhanced. This is the latest version. Um, mm -hmm. They are not uh, only uh, quicker, the basic is quicker, they are also all the bugs that were still existent in the last C65 ROMs are fixed and there are new commands, there's more to it, syntax highlighting, other nice features. Exactly. Also, of course, the free open ROM available to everybody as well. So, like I said, it's absolutely worth jumping over to the file host and having a look over there. You actually find tons of tools, programs. Um, it's constantly growing. More and more software is getting uploaded constantly on it. So, pop by. You will find the link in the description. And with this, um, yeah, I think we could maybe we have a word on Open ROM. Uh, Feral Child is building the Open ROM continuum to, to build it and uh, to enhance it. And it is, of course, a lot of work to do a, a full basic implementation that also is uh, compatible to what Commodore did without copying or looking at what they did. So we are trying to get it free of any copyright claims. But uh, it's still some way to go. The open ROMs are part of the Mega 65 bit streams. Uh, but if you have a license uh, for now, um, until we get further there, the, the best choice is to use the latest bit shifter ROMs like the one we are showing here. As you know, if I go ahead and do a normal. I think you missed the shift key. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me. You all know these ones and then the typical and if I now type a list you can nicely see let's add another line um, let's say five and make a list here is one of the advanced features of our new Mega 65 ROM. It is based on the original C65 ROM, but as you can see, we now implemented features like syntax highlight and so on. So you actually can see REM ones, uh, REM lines are in gray while normal syntax is in cyan. Also in this ROM, you're able to define what colors are used for the syntax highlight. So it's totally up to you. Normally you have to use the dear command to actually Show um, show the directory of a mounted disk. Nowadays, also it works like this, or it works like this. Um, Maybe just yeah. So we uh, see ROM getting enhanced in a way that it's more user friendly. You can choose what kind of syntax would you like to use and so on. And you told me he has also enhanced uh, the load uh, within the directory feature. So you can just, I think, type the slash here, slash space, and it will load without an error or like this, yes. And it will load uh, even if the PRG is still uh, there. So I think, maybe... yeah, I think all the old C64 users knew that they had to type a colon at the end of the file name. Oh, Otherwise, really? it would kick out an error message. So, yeah, let's have a look at uh, uh, Manche. 
Manche, uh, <laughs> Manche. speak a little bit about it. I yeah. think I have to jump to uh, C64 mode. Yes, uh, right. Uh, yes, it's uh, Daniel from our team uh, coded a new version of the mod player, which supports the Mega 65's uh, four-channel DMA audio, and uh, yeah, it's very compatible to Amiga ROMs now, and it sounds very nice. Okay. And What it's nice to see, it takes like one and a half raster lines. Uh, so if you want to include it in your game or demo or whatever, the, the four channel DMA audio, it almost uses no CPU time. Let's just step in for a second. Absolutely amazing. Like I, I think our previous mod player was pretty good already, but I think uh, Manchi is amazing. It plays most mods that I threw against it were working. So yes. it's absolutely amazing and nice. And just a small. I think it's. Uh, you see so many, uh, so much software coming from the people lately, and there are so many people supporting the Mega 65 projects. I, can't, I think we come to this um, in a moment. Yes, let's I, show more. <laughs> let's, show. Let, 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 let's show more. Yeah, yeah, let, uh, let's, I, I would say, you, um, I prepare, you tell a little bit about it, who and what sort yeah, of. Okay. Okay. Let, maybe uh, let's see what Shalin uh, released as a little game demo. And uh, it's a game that has been hugely popular on the uh, on several 8 and 16-bit uh, machines. And uh, uh, we were actually hoping to get a clearance for the copyright, but uh, this seemed to be complicated. And uh, while we tried to do, to clear it, um, Sheldon also said, "Well, I, my engine is now so much enhanced, uh, I would redo the whole game." So we said. Come on, let's just uh, release it as a small demo. Oh, I have the honors. And uh, so people can see what's possible with a Mega 65 in Take a... Take a look at that! Oh, the fire button of this stick is... <laughs> <laughs> Only one is working, but that's not a problem. Uh, here's... Wasn't here some secret... Uh, I already missed it. But take a look at that graphic! That's amazing! That's amazing! This is absolutely stunning! So yeah, I mean this is this is an 8-bit machine and this is basically C64 code with enhancements and it really runs well and yes. You really can see what's possible and this is just a tech demo like Deft already said due to licensing, uh, licensing issues we um, said okay we release it as a tech demo to show the people what is possible. Can you hit space for me please? I don't know exactly. Ah, no. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, pretty great. As I think the graphic and everything, that, that's amazing. And he's it's... not even using the full potential of the Mega 65. He said he could have done everything in 256 colors and stuff like that, and he wants the parallax. So now he started doing his own game. Um, yeah, but just to get an idea, it's, this is at least Amiga quality. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the Mega 65 does not need to um, be afraid Give of my joystick back. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. So I love it. And um, yeah, for all the people, I only could suggest to um, have a look at Shannon's stream. He normally um, uh, streams his, um, his progress when he's programming for Mega 65 and certain other programs he's doing also for Game Boy, C64 and so on. So join him on, on uh, his Twitch, on Twitch stream. Yes. We will link you in the, in the video description. We will put the link in for you. He actually does two very uh, important things, uh, very important to us. 
uh, on one hand, he's coding a, an engine demo. Um, as I just told, he, he wants to, it to be better than this, and it already is. And uh, it uh, supports great parallax, great level editor, and um, the very many soft sprites, as he calls them. Um, this is very cool. You can watch him uh, making this engine. You can learn about the engine, which you will be able to, if you want to use later for your game. Uh, and the other things he's doing, he's constantly um, trying to get developers on board. So he does these coding competitions and uh, you can win a Nexus, a Nexus four, A7 board, a seven board uh, completely configured to be a Mega 65 with a nice printed case, I think. Amazing, yeah, yes. exactly. Um, yeah. I think he found the 3D files for it, since it's open source, also on the web for the case. He modified it slightly and now he gives as a prize, he gives out the um, Nexus A7 board together with the printed case mm -hmm. and as I think there were several lucky winners already. Yes. And not only this, if you join, you will see Sharon how he codes, so you actually you learn how to code on the Mega 65, and it's amazing. I was impressed when I've seen Sharon that I think for this, not sure if he even used hardware sprites. I think most of it is. I think maybe maybe for those. Th yeah, this but, this yeah. might be, but yeah, everything yes, else. Chart set and. Okay, and uh, one thing he, one interesting competition um, was the basic uh, game coding competition and the, uh, I think the, the quest was to code a classic game in basic and uh, maybe if you could show the winner of the compo because um, now with the basic 10 and the enhancements that are going on that bit shifter does and the 40 megahertz in combination you can actually now really uh, code good games that also have graphics action games in basic um, and I think this uh, wasn't possible before on the uh, C64 and also not on the C65 and it's really nice to have a, a, a easy entry to coding your own game in basic so um, the winner is just to show you first sorry pardon as you can see pure basic and the syntax highlight and everything. Yeah, some of the features of the... You can scroll up and down. Exactly, yeah. of the C65 basic, you can see you can scroll up and down in the listing, not like with the C64 where you had to type list again or list 10, 2 and so on. You really just go ahead and you scroll through the listing with F9 and F11, the function keys, how you need. So and we had it in the intro and now we'll start with a topic. <laughs> now you see what's possible with CMega 65 yeah, basic. The first Tetris for today. The first Tetris? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Good. <laughs> Even with music in basic? Okay, just... Yeah. You play a bit. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't played it, it so is. long. Well, it's, it's quick and it's fun. Fun to play. Uh, absolutely. Like I said, and it, it, it works as, as you normally know. Oh, it's not like this. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's nice to see that you can do something like this in, no. in pure basic uh, now. Absolutely. And it has nice quick score display and everything you need. So, yes. Um, while, uh, Congratulations, sorry, for the winner, <laughs> that because, like I said, this is amazing. We're Coding this in basic is... We, we wanted to mention that we are trying to support uh, developers also by sending out hardware. And uh, there were several participants on our Mega Dev program. And we are a small team, we are not as quick as we would like to be, but we're here we today uh, already assembled stuff and uh, some things will get uh, sent out yeah. in the next days and there's more to come and of course you can always keep uh, enlisting in the developer support program. We will stay in the Tetris topic and uh, show something. Um, we already showed you the uh, Zedix Uno core from uh, developer side 2002, also a member of the Mega 65 team. And he started porting something else, and yeah, you saw it in the intro where we're going to. Look what we got here! 
It's actually a Game Boy Color Core. By Sai. Sai 2002, who already uh, did the ZX Uno uh, Core, and uh, he's a member of the Mega 65 team. And you see here the his own uh, computer and CPU integration, the QNICE, and he uses this uh, side project for access to the SD card, for FAT32 access, long file name support, and also for doing the on-screen menus. And uh, this is very much an improvement of the original Mr. Core, in our opinion, because this is very, very small uh, integration of these features. And... Uh, He's uh, building an environment where he actually can uh, drop the Mr. Calls into. So, um, yeah, more and more uh, FPGA calls from the Mr. Project, which also is a very, very nice project, will be uh, adapted for the Mega 65. And yeah, maybe. Yeah. Today. I, now I now I understand why you <laughs> said okay today it will be the history a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we should have a double flash played it at level 9 and hardcore mode. <laughs> so. Yeah, like I said, I'm not the best <laughs> Tetris player. Yep, not a problem. As you can see, it runs very nicely. And maybe we can show another Game Boy game. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, let's go. Yes, an example, yeah, very good. So this is just a little distraction. Oh, we forgot to mention that the stuff you saw before, the Turrican, all the basic uh, Tetris, all the other basic uh, entries of the Shalins basic compo. So yeah, the Turrican tech demo are available on the file host. So if you want to have a look and browse through the great results of the basic compo, Download the stuff from the file host, that stuff is free for everybody to download, analyze it, play with it, have fun with it. Yes, so show us if you are better in Maryland <laughs> than in Tetris. <laughs> yes, this looks good. <laughs> but again, it's fun. Um, we already spoke with Sai. Oh, <laughs> and he actually already said, um, I think joystick support is one of the next things and so on. He tries to implement a, co a configuration and options menu. No? Yes, this is an alpha version yeah. of the core, but, but it's uh, of course for us nice to play around with something else than uh, the mega thing which we are working on, the mega core, like in the sixth year now. <laughs> so it's very welcome to have some Mario Land or Tetris in between. Thank you! Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. But like I said, it's, all, it's amazing. And I think, yes, um, this was for today a wrap up of uh, the last four or five weeks. I think. Exactly. Lo lots of stuff is going on in the background and so on. We have really a lot to do. We are all working. Um, if you want to join the fun, also maybe come to our Discord server. There's also a link from Mega65.org, the Discord uh, server where most of the things happen. Um, our friends and, and partners are, are also, this is new link from the website. So you can visit some other pages of other people uh, that do projects around uh, Mega65 or C65 or open source stuff around the Commodore topic. And exactly. yes, um, if you want to apply for the Mega Dev Developer Program, drop us an email. Absolutely, and um, like we mentioned already, um, if you maybe don't have a dev kit or the skills or whatsoever, and you want to start, download the emulator. You just download the great X emu emulator and uh, from LGB. LGB, and it's you can. Uh, I think most of the basic games were coded on this. And they, of course, run perfectly as you saw on the real hardware. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. <laughs> and have fun. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.